the constitution did a very wise thing and somewhere down the line we seem to have lost it for many concerns for many reasons and the concept of open courts i think the concept of open courts was precisely this and that's that that gives the resp uh, that places the responsibility on two s actors one is the system and the other is the public it is important as as uh, justice basan said and i think it is very critical if you are to have a rule of law based society that the society itself is engaged on a day to day basis with what the courts do now the language that we use we seem to revel in antiquity we 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 we, we want to i mean a, a common rural litigant who enters the court he is mystified by the figures of judges you know who look like high priests in some kind of ritual and then of course what emanates latin etc so i think there are a lot of things which we must talk about and um, i think it's not i mean i i, I don't think i'm way off the record because in england they, of of all the places in england from where we claim our heritage there was a conscious uh, move to modernize the language now they have done away with robes the supreme court of united kingdom judges don't use robes they sit in normal clothes of course the lawyers are entrenched in their views so they wear their robes and wigs well that's a different issue now coming back to this uh, for, uh, i would i would support entirely with uh, professor menon uh, the first part is yes 20 lakh 1 crore all these are figures at the same time the average filing for the last 3 years has been something between 1.8 crores to 1.9 crores it's been an average and the disposal has been anything between 1.75 to 1.85 crores and we have faced the, the uh, i won't say the judicial system as a whole has faced severe constraints and i'm not talking of high court vacancies i'm talking of lower court vacancies right now we have a sanction strength of about 220000 odd judges and uh, the working strength is about 16000 judges and the courts available are 15000 judges and uh, when you go to criminal justice system it gets worse because you don't have prosecutors all over they are sometimes on an ad hoc basis and sometimes you don't get, get assigned prosecutors on a dedicated basis to each court and there are a lot of problems for the we have a five year rule that we should get out with cases within five years but in case of criminal matters the man is in from for him that a date the time starts ticking from the time he is taken into jail but uh, the the real trial begins after the charge sheet is charge sheet is filed and the charges are framed and the witnesses come so there are some cases where, over which the courts have no control and these are one third of the cases in the system now crimes do increase we do need in, you know increase in the number of judges so we have not arrived at the i mean there have been debates and debates and debates and discourses and uh, but the public general public only knows one thing that you know uh, we have this huge pendency if this huge pendency is what is uh, seen what what are the other ingredients that make up this pendency is equally important and yes uh, as far as uh, judges at the lower levels are concerned their the disposals are closely monitored the quality of judgments are also seen but then the system is never perfect we have to keep improvising and i think uh, what uh, professor menon said justice basan said we have to keep on thinking i mean if in the west you can have court rooms e virtual court rooms where the judge has control and then you speak from one one state and uh, the judge is another in another state and the third uh, the second lawyer is another state why can't we have it after all we are a technological leader in this country we can do this we should be thinking about doing it and then access also means reaching out thank you